right, folks. We're driving home now. It should be about a five, six minute drive, depending on traffic. homes as you can clearly see this is called rich man neighborhood this is a neighborhood <coughs> kind of a neighborhood that I grew up in <coughs> back home in Iowa um, but the neighborhood I live in is way less financially affordable than uh, what this is. Way less. I live in what is known as the poor man neighborhood. Come on, are you gonna turn or what, Grandpa? See, that's why you know. Uh, If you can't drive the speed limit, you should not be allowed to, well, drive. I don't care how old you are, or where you're from, or whatever. You should not be allowed to drive if you cannot <coughs> successfully, you know, drive the neighborhood. Or the, drive the speed, excuse me. Oh, and you lawns. What the fuck are you doing driving around here, dude? He's wearing his mask. I got my mask on my uh, dash. I got several. Um, like I said in previous videos, I do maintenance and uh, property management. So I am always, I always got work masks. kid must be nice to have mommy and daddy foot your bills so you can end up affording to buy a high-end car that you really don't need to buy you know I mean what good do they do they're hard on gas mileage you know at the same time you can't haul anything with it so if you got to move out of your home for any reason you, li you literally won't you'll have to rent a U-Haul or something, you know, because you can't put anything in a two-seat vehicle. All right. Now this, uh, off to the left, or uh, excuse me, off to the right, is the mall, but as you see, as you see, the lot is virtually empty of cars. The virus, the coronavirus, really tore up the jobs in this town. But at the same time, we have one of the fewest uh, coronavirus victim uh, states. So, you know, here in Nebraska, so. Not 
do what I just did. I'm, that yellow light turned red when I went through that intersection about halfway through. So, luck, luckily I was already halfway through the intersection. Otherwise, technically that would be that would be ticket worthy. of this street here will be downhill. <coughs> Unfortunately, <coughs> I have allergies, so this time of year, my sinuses and my throat is kind of stuffed up or, you know, swell, swollen up a little bit, so it's a little bit hard for me to breathe. That's, I don't know if you've noticed me coughing. That's what that is. It's not because of the virus, I can tell you that. I have been tested and I am virus free. Guarantee. <laughs> but that doesn't stop people from being scared. You know, when they see someone coughing or sniffing, you know, or, you know, sneezing or, you know, something like that, people. And this time, uh, you know, with the virus going around, they probably think, oh my gosh, dude's got the coronavirus. Oh my gosh. We got to get away from it. You know. So it's kind of like I got the black plague, you know, uh, to everybody, you know. Um, it's all right. The, the virus is already dying off, not just here in the U.S., but all over the world it's the uh the numbers are slowly going down i think by the end of uh by the end of this uh month of april i think i think it'll be to the point where we'll be able to come out and, and enjoy life once again Now we're going uphill slightly for a little bit and then we're downhill then uphill then downhill then uphill then slightly downhill and then flat land oh yeah you see all these giant metal power line poles yeah they're freaking huge man they're everywhere right now this here is uh, Wesleyan um, University uh, football field and some of their some of their uh, dorm buildings you know um, they've got a whole bunch of them which kind of makes me wonder how many uh, many uh, people actually go to that small school. It's a real small school. It, um, it can't be holding, it can't hold that many people to be honest with you. I, I, you wouldn't think, I mean it's a pretty small university. But from what I hear, uh, from what I hear is uh, they put out a pretty good amount of uh, Pretty good uh, uh, educated people. That's what I hear. I, I don't know. I never went to that university. Uh, like I said, I'm from I'm from uh, Iowa. Uh, 
So I don't know. I mean, I've been here for about about 20 years, but I still don't know too much about what this all the universities and stuff you know offer around here. So. Believe it or not, traffic is pretty decent, you know. And I'm gonna have to pull right up on this jackass's bumper. Guy doesn't even fucking live here, but all right. Well, we are here, and uh, yeah, so. That was 11 and a half minutes. I'll see you next time.